Today has been another incredible day. Being in North Carolina, I am surrounded by some of the smartest and most intense engine builders you're going to find anywhere in the world. Today, I'm at Titan Racing Engines, where we are working with their sister company, Armageddon Turbo Systems, who have put together this prototype twin turbo system for a 5.3 LS. And I'm one of the first to actually see it. It's not available to the public yet, and they are pushing it to its absolute limits in their development program. Believe me, if you're not blowing stuff up, you're not finding the limits. And that's what these guys are doing today. You're going to want to see this. Armageddon Turbo Systems designs and puts together turbo kits for all sorts of high performance applications. And now they want to bring some of their innovations to help the guys making insane power on the Junkyard 5.3 LS package that lately has become crazy popular. But here, I'll let Armageddon's Dave Rockow himself explain what's going on. I founded Armageddon back in 2012 with the single purpose of creating the best aftermarket turbocharging solution we could possibly find. Over the years, you've probably seen some of our, our work with the Mustangs and the GM 1500 systems. We did a 6th gen Camaro, all with the same idea of having a premium level turbo solution. These days, Armageddon's looking with great interest into the Junkyard LS path. And it's become pretty popular to take a takeout LS engine, put a turbocharger on it, make a bunch of horsepower, and just replace the engine as you go through them. So Armageddon this year partnered up with Titan Racing Engines, who has a rich history in NHRA Pro Stock Racing and uh, NHRA Pro Mod Racing, building top of the line engines, money's no object, just some of the best of the best push rod engine combinations you could ever find. And we partnered with Titan Racing Engines to develop this Junkyard LS platform. So the first step that Armageddon needed to provide is we needed a new, less expensive solution to getting the turbochargers mounted to the vehicle. And so what we came up with are these cast LS twin turbo manifolds. These allow you to run a T4 turbocharger in a twin configuration with standard rotation on both sides for a semi-symmetrical look. The packaging means as long as you have room above your engine, it's going to fit any application that an LS fits into. The next step was to figure out what does a junkyard LS actually require as far as boost pressures. And at this point, we're running these uh, twin 64 millimeter turbochargers. These are prototypes. Uh, we're working through some... Um, different testing strategies to, to see what kind of boost we can get out of them and how much power they can provide. But so far, so good. This is a 10 blade billet wheel, uh, 64 millimeter compressor, uh, real similar to like a Garrett GTX 3582R turbocharger that on our Armageddon mainline systems, we've made well over 1,500 horsepower to the wheels on. As a first step, Dave and the guys at Armageddon went out and picked up a bone stock 5.3 LS out of a truck. Dyno operator Mike Smith says all they did was open up the ring gaps a bit to keep them from budding from the extra heat generated by boost. Then they bolted up the prototype turbo system and made 720 horsepower with 17 pounds of boost. That 17 number is what you could probably consider safe for a typical 5.3 if you're going to drive it every day. And then with the turbos turned up all the way, it pumped out 968 horsepower. So of course, they simply didn't stop there. The next step was to pull the engine down and gave it a what you might call mild performance build. It's been machined with the cylinders 20 thousandths over, but the stroke is still stock. In order to handle more power, it now has a forged rotating assembly with a forged crank, Cali's connecting rods, and a set of CP pistons. The cam is also upgraded, but it's still nothing extravagant. In fact, Armageddon calls it their naturally aspirated grind. It's approximately 230 degrees of duration at 50 thousandths tap at lift on a 110 degree separation angle. But it is still a really a very basic build. Heck, they're still running the truck plastic intake manifold. A valve lift is just a little bit over half of an inch. The cylinder heads are an aftermarket casting, but it's basically a stock replacement piece with as-cast ports and combustion chambers. They're held in place with a set of ARP head bolts and use a stock head gasket to provide a seal between the block and the cylinder head. 
controlling the engine is a Holley HP ECU. Smith says that the reason for that is simple. The Holley HP system is easy to work with and they already happen to have one laying around the dyno cell. For a baseline, Smith first ran the built engine in naturally aspirated form and it produced a healthy 440 horsepower. That's right at 120 better than a stock 5.3. Impressive considering nothing was done to compensate for that extra 20 thousandths larger cylinder bore which knocked the compression down almost exactly a point. So now we can get to the fun stuff. Smith hooked the prototype twin turbo system back up and started making pulls. Now it's important to note here that even though the fit and finish of this Armageddon twin turbo setup is fantastic, this is still a prototype design. And what we're watching here is still R&D. This is not a finished product. But still, wow! After sneaking up on it a bit and confirming the tune, here's a run with 17 pounds of boost. With what I'd consider a safe amount of boost for daily driving, the engine made peaks of 923.1 horsepower at 7300 RPM and 808.2 foot-pounds of torque at 5500. Pretty nice. But then they just kept going. The crews at Armageddon and Titan Racing Engines were looking to test the limits of both the turbo system as well as the components in the upgraded 5.3. So they just kept turning up the wick. Our best pull came with an incredible 30 pounds of boost being produced by the two turbos. By adding 13 pounds of pressure, we jumped from 923 horsepower and 808 foot-pounds of torque all the way up to 1,144.6 horsepower at 5,900 RPM and 1,068.4 foot-pounds of torque at 5,500. That's improvements of 221.6 horsepower and 260.2 foot-pounds of torque. But more important, the turbo system showed that it was still nowhere close to running out of air. But still, Smith warned us that the little 5.3 had to be running close to its limits. And in fact, we found those limits when we tried pushing 32 pounds of boost through the 5.3. Check it out. That, my friends, is what a blown head gasket looks like. Dave and his crew were actually expecting this. With just 15 head bolts per cylinder head, the clamping load available on an LS using head bolts is pretty limited and a known weak link when it comes to adding lots of boost. We actually just made 1,160 horsepower, but we ran into a little issue. Right now we're running ARP head bolts. So instead of your typical head stud that you can get a lot of clamp load on with that nut, it's just a, a normal bolt like you'd see with the torque to yield bolts on the factory configuration. Well, that's what's failed here. We've lost clamp load and we actually blew out the head gasket on this side at 1,160 horsepower. Uh, now that may sound like a kind of a bummer, but we're not too upset about it. We're gonna go figure out where we lost clamp load first. If it was the number of bolts, obviously LS engines are kind of famous for not having quite enough head bolts holding down each side. 
or if we just ran out of enough uh, uh, tensile strength on those head bolts and just lifted it up and blew out the gasket. So we'll know a little bit more about that soon. But what we took away from this test was at about 30 PSI on the stock engine, we were at 968 horsepower. By putting this forged rotating assembly in, we actually lost a point and a half of compression. So probably knocked about 7% of our ultimate horsepower potential out. But naturally aspirated with our cam and head package, we picked up another 100 horsepower. So we're real excited that those power gains are following through into the turbocharged area, even though we're dropping the compression. Once we solve this uh, head clamp issue, we're gonna make some serious horsepower on a real budget. I think it's cool how he sees what many consider to be a bad engine failure as a way to learn and improve. What's interesting is besides the turbo system, which is pretty impressive itself, Armageddon and Titan are also working on an engine program for the 5.3 that should also be very helpful to anyone looking to make low cost but reliable horsepower. The problem with sourcing a 5.3 out of a junkyard is even though the engine may run, you're never sure if it's been abused and on its last legs. Titan is looking into keeping several 5.3 liter engines on the shelf that they've gone through and know are ready to rock. The, the question of value comes into play when you're talking about these junkyard LS builds. And we want to provide the value and one way that we're doing that is instead of taking the gamble of pulling out a junkyard LS and throwing it in your vehicle and the first time you find out if it even runs or not is when you go to fire it up. What we're doing is actually tearing them down here in our multi-million dollar pro stock engine building facility and looking it over with the same professionals that have brought home NHRA pro stock championships. We're intending on offering two versions of this to, to get you real value for the money. The first version is going to be, we'll source the long block LS out of the junkyard and we're gonna tear it down and we're gonna check the clearances, the rings, the surface finish on the bore and make sure everything is within specification. Replace it if it needs it, put it back together if it doesn't. What that'll bring to you is an engine that's been looked at by a professional, ensure that everything is basically where it should be and then run on the dyno to make sure it has the oil pressure and the compression that you're expecting out of it and then send it on its way. The second opportunity that we can build value in is taking those same junkyard builds and putting in the same forged rotating assembly we have here and our aftermarket head castings and getting you, again, a dynoed, blueprinted, ready to go, value oriented engine as opposed to our top level pro stock engines. I wish I could give you all the specifics on both the turbo and the engine packages, but remember, Titan and Armageddon are still quite early in the development process. And even though they're already making some great power, there's no telling what might change as the R&D program progresses. But the opportunity for access in this shop was just too great to pass up. At this point, we're just running these on the dyno and collecting data. We'll have a much more empirical uh, method to share with you as, as we grow this program. But this is kind of a sneak peek behind the scenes that uh, if not for Jeff coming by today, we wouldn't have said anything to anybody else in the world about what we're up to. Hey, thanks for watching. I've been around plenty of blown up engines, but it isn't too often an engine builder has enough confidence that they actually encourage me to show it on video. Many thanks to the guys at Armageddon Turbo Systems and Titan Racing Engines, and I hope to bring you more cool stuff from their shops in the future. See you next time.